Now these are a set of cylinder heads that we had a customer send in in a complete engine. So we took the cylinder heads off and they're going through the engine for him. And we noticed what an atrociously bad surface finish this thing has. I mean, it is atrociously bad. This is after we cleaned it up. Um, not resurfaced it, but after we cleaned it up. So you'll see this a lot of times where, uh, I'll point to it here, where the uh, certain kind of cutters, somebody cut this and resurfaced it with, with either a dull tool or the wrong tool, and it tends to drag and cause a really, really poor surface. I mean, that thing is quite literally scratched up. So obviously what we want to do is we want to have a perfectly clean, perfectly flat surface. So the other head that was part of this package is already in the machine. Now we've already resurfaced this cylinder head and what we what uh, you would actually notice as we resurfaced this is it was high out here all along the outside and then all of the inside was actually low where all the bolts are at where actually all the pinching and clamping force is actually at was actually uh, low through here so I think I'd ended up taking uh, seven thousands off of this head just to make everything perfectly flat but that's what needs to happen and you can see this is a extremely nice uh, surface finish so it's very uniform uh, right through here in the valve seat area it doesn't tend to drag or make a different looking surface finish uh, all of those things if, if, if your cylinder heads you get get back don't have a perfectly shiny perfectly flat uh, beautiful looking surface they're not really right uh, you need to do those again and uh, typically also you know if for every five thousandths or I think it's actually ten thousandths per cc I think typically a ten thousandths or so is going to be in that range of one cc, maybe two cc's per combustion chamber. That all differ differentiates between what kind of cylinder head it is. So there's no exact number for that. You need to figure that out. But in general, it's a right around there. And uh, we try to leave as much deck material on a cylinder head as possible because obviously uh, the thicker deck material holds gaskets better. And since we're making big boost and big power on everything. We want to have as thick a deck surface as possible, so we try not to have these things cut a whole lot. Uh, we just want to keep good material up there, make sure this is thick, make sure that you have a very good, fine surface finish in that 10RA area right around there. Make sure this stuff is flat. And uh, like I said, in one of the future episodes, we'll do how we actually do combustion chamber modifications to these for boosted applications. We'll show you exactly what that is and how uh, that works and how that changes the way the flame front crosses the combustion chamber and we'll also show you how we do a one-piece stainless steel hoop uh, in the cylinder head that's actually machined in here versus the old school wire uh, where it's just a piece of wire that's cut and you know it's it's just not nearly as good as this one-piece stainless steel hoops that we do so anyways this is why we need to resurface cylinder heads resurface blocks because they don't come final surfaced from the manufacturer. So always remember to do that. Make sure it stuff's flat and has as smooth a surface finish as possible. So anyways, I'm Steve Morris, Steve Tech Videos. Have a great day.